You look at the most advanced botanists in the world, you had people like the Incans who were making uh, 6,000 species of potatoes, you know? And, and, and you look at all the diversity of foods here and how healthy they were for people. Um, that wasn't by just accident. That was by, you know, uh, real living people and real living animals uh, conjuring up new medicines and conjuring, conjuring up new plants. And I mean, it, if we understand that, uh, you know, how the rainforests are today and how they're rich and, and there's so many species and plants that are unidentified in there. Well, think about Turtle Island when it was in its original habit, you know, habitat. It, you know, North America was in its original state. Uh, this was all a rainforest. There was trees everywhere and plants everywhere and medicines everywhere and food everywhere. Um, but all of it started getting wiped out by domesticated uh, animals and, and domesticated plants, which were just, to me, the parasitical, you know, kind of uh, plants and the parasitical kind of uh, animals and, and the parasitical kind of thinking. Because we are our environment and our environment is us. And eventually, if we uh, spiral together for long enough, then we create uh, parasitical this or we create uh, self-sustainable this. And, and it goes in line with the humans and how they function. And so I think that the technology um, aspect of it, um, we had that. You know, uh, you look at in, in the Egyptian and the Mayan uh, hieroglyphs and petroglyphs and you see helicopters. And so you see, we had these things. It's just that uh, somebody stole them and then privatized them, compartmentalized them, created complexes. Whether they, you know, and I think that it's all reined in by the uh, institutional complex. Whether you have the military industrial complex or the prison industrial complex or this university system or you have uh, the job system and how that works. It's all one comp, it's all compartmentalized to privatize knowledge so that we can't, you know, basically get our hands into everything and involved in ways that we're, that we want to involve in you know, not ways that others want us to involve in for themselves and their projects and their benefit, you know. They want us to be strong, good slaves, but they don't want us to think, you know. So, unfortunately, when, when you have that, then the genetics don't coordinate right. And so then, if you're trying to get the, uh, uh, the, the, the strong, big guy, it's kind of hard to take out that thinking aspect because uh, obviously what made that body strong and, and big is a smart intelligence going on in the body and it's going to reflect inside the brain, inside of the nervous system, inside of all of that and because they're coordinating, they're in harmony together. And so, um, you, know, uh, you know, it's all about um, swirling together, you know, it's about uh, um, identifying the colors, you know. At DQ, for instance, we have, um, which is our, the tribal college that we're in, the only tribal college in California. Um, we have a, a scientist out there who's uh, dedicated and, and volunteered his time. His name is Robert Northrup. And he created this periodic tables uh, that's a spiral, it's a swirl. And, it, and, all, the period, and all the elements are uh, in colors. And so you look at this rainbow spiral and it fits perfect, you know? And even the shades of colors, it's almost like that periodic table should have always been a circle, a spiral, not a square with no color in it. And so, um, you know, things like that uh, remind us that uh, how to, uh, I guess, deprivatize uh, knowledge, how to deprivatize and give it back to the people. You know, the Panthers have a saying, they say, you know, power to the people through the people. And uh, I think they're just reminded by the fact, or the reality, the universal reality, that they are um, taking back these forms of, uh, of energy and siphoning them back to the people. You know, whereas right now these energies are too concerned with uh, their career or their salary or their stipend or their grant or their uh, schedule or all of these other things that come with Western establishment that keep us divided and pinned down, isolated. Interdimensional beings uh, um, is just another form of consciousness, you know, and an extraterrestrial. Uh, it, it, to me, that, 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 that starts to go into defining that uh, we're not connected. 
Like, I mean, but, you know, we don't see nothing as extraterrestrial. We, we just seen it as celestial, you know. It has its place and it has its uh, role in the circle. And that um, just because we don't know about it yet does not m make it, you know, something that's unknown. It just means that, uh, that it, it, it's all coming in time. That, you know, the circle, when you're dancing in a circle, you know, and you see that beautiful girl, you know, in that circle and you want, you want to, see how beautiful her dance is, the essence of her, her expression of her spirit. And, and so she's coming by you and she's dancing in the circle and you're sitting on one spot of the place and she dances right by you. And, and, and maybe at first you kind of got a glance over on the, when she was on the other side of the circle. And you were like, oh man, I, I didn't really feel that. And then, then she comes right in front of you and now you can feel that, you can feel the energy, you can feel the essence. And so, uh, and then you get to, you know, embrace that energy because it's like a bubble. She's allowing, by her expressing her dance and everything, she's allowing you into that bubble. And it's a very intimate process um, of harmony, you know. And, and, and if I had any energy that was unbalanced, uh, these dances are, and these songs are meant to uh, throw those unbalanced things out and reharmonize me, re-energize me. And so as I'm looking and then I, doesn't make her extraterrestrial just because I don't know who, you know, her name or, or her, her energy. It just means, you know, this is another part of the circle, you know, and it's a beautiful part. I like it, you know. <laughs> I want to learn more about it <laughs> in my involvement. <laughs> I cannot teach you anything and you cannot learn anything from me. And I can't learn anything from you. And you can't teach me anything. But uh, that, uh, I can remind you of something, and you can remind me of something, and together we can remember. And uh, if people understood that, and then they would take the, the, the hierarchy out of education, and there would be no teacher-student relationship. There would only be a circle of people uh, exchanging ideas, scholars exchanging ideas, uh, and, and ref bouncing them, echoing, echo, echoing them off of each other and coming up with synergy, you know, which is remembering, you know, remembering the dream. I might have forgot a piece of the dream. Well, you have that piece. Obviously, it's reflected in, in where you're, you know, in what position you're at right now, which is media, you know, and uh, maybe uh, my dream wasn't as vivid in the media department, but it was vivid in the other department, you know, education or whatever, you know, it happens to be. So I say, you know, there is no teaching learning, just remembering.